Well, hi, uh, hi, Aaron. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for helping us out with this project. Um, first of all, uh, could you just introduce yourself, tell us who you are and what your job is? Uh, hello, uh, I'm Lieutenant Aaron Marshall, and my job is a communications information system engineer on board Her Majesty's Submarines. Fantastic. And um, what kind of activities are involved in the uh, job that you do? Uh, the activities that are involved for my job is uh, looking after the communication systems on board a submarine. This includes receiving emails, uh, messages, signals, uh, processing them, and then distributing them throughout the submarine. Uh, this is uh, important because operationally, this is what we require in order to uh, maintain the need for deterrent. Fantastic. Okay, so a, a key role on board, the, on board your submarine. Your submarine. Um, okay, how did you actually get into this job? Uh, that's a long, long story. So uh, I, I've been doing this job for about 15 years now. So I joined up from uh, post A levels uh, as a rating. So I went to HMS uh, rally and then did the basic training into Collingwood to do my uh, essentially professional career training to start with. Uh, I then joined my first uh, ship as it was at, at the time, which is HMS Gloucester up in Rosyth. Uh, we did a refit period and then a trip down to Falklands. And then I moved on to uh, a defence intelligence role, so providing communications out in the field. So I did um, several op tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, came back, did some more professional training, served aboard HMS Dairy and did a global trip uh, testing the radar systems out in the uh, Pacific. Uh, I came back from there and then did some more professional training. And then I advanced my career into the officer side, which I uh, then transferred to submarines. And then I did my first patrol on HMS Victorious as the assistant weapon engineering officer. And then I've just completed a year's training and now I'm a communications information systems engineer. Wow. <laughs> so you've uh, clearly done a fair bit in your time. So um, if we kind of think back to your school days, um, what kind of qualifications did you take at school? And do you think they prepared you well for your job that you're doing at the moment? Uh, so back in my GCSEs, I study systems and uh, design, and then also engineering, the double award at the time of the GCSEs. Uh, that prepared me really well because I had a really good uh, school and a set of teachers being a technology college that I went to. Uh, so I completed my GCSEs um, and I did maths also a year early. So I took that a uh, year early on that side. So that kind of gave me some more focus room to study on engineering. Uh, and then I turned that into A-levels and then decided to progress myself into a professional career from there. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, I mean, Lots of people think that your kind of learning stops when you leave the school, but I mean, what That's kind of training? <laughs> what kind of training have you actually uh, done since you've taken on the various roles that you have? Uh, uh, yeah, the learning never stops. So there's always courses to be doing. Uh, just as part of the Navy itself, we get accredited money every year just to go do some courses. So uh, some big ones that I did, I did an engineering degree in service. So I've got my bachelor's with honours in electronics engineering, uh, paid for by the Navy. Uh, and then I've also done lots of leadership courses. So I'm a level five manager. Uh, and also now I'm a chartered IT professional, having done lots of IT courses within the service. Uh, some bespoke courses I've done. I've done some AT qualifications, so I can go out and take uh, skiing expeditions out. Uh, and also I can drive a forklift as well. All part <laughs> of the so. <laughs> ah, pretty varied yeah cool. so it never stops never stops learning okay so if you were kind of looking at the personal qualities that you have what kind of personal qualities do you think have prepared you well for this job uh so i think just dedication um it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication to actually get to the point i am today and so the, the learning itself is, is continuous throughout my career and it's that ability to actually be adaptive and actually uh, progress. Um, as we know, it, it's a changing world at the moment and constantly evolving. Technologies are always evolving, so it's trying to keep up with those times, uh, just 
constantly researching, constantly reading, uh, trying to update my personal information and knowledge so that I can share that on with others. Uh, the biggest other point as well is developing other people. So oh, wow. that, that's that leadership function. So actually going and developing my subordinates, uh, developing my peers, and actually helping them to progress their careers as well. So those, those are some of my key attributes. Okay, fantastic. So, um, I mean, with every job, there are kind of good days and there are bad days. Um, so if we look at the kind of the challenges and the rewards of your particular role, if we start with the kind of the challenges first, I mean, what, what are the challenges that you find in your job? Uh, the biggest challenges from day to day is the fact we've worked with uh, hundreds of people, whether it be from actual ship staff to contractors, working with other authorities. It's all trying to it's trying to plan a big motion. It's essentially a big like train set we're trying to um, plan and actually deliver. So uh, it's going into and understanding meetings. So uh, we're all going to do from day to day. Uh, keeping a diary is absolutely imperative to my day job to actually try to work out what I need to do and get achieved. So uh, it's it's constantly, uh, the role is constantly changing and adapting. So it's it's that ability to adapt to change, which I think is probably the most challenging part of my job. Okay, and in terms of reward? Uh, the reward is actually getting to the operational part and getting to see and knowing that you've achieved everything you need to actually uh, deliver the continuous at sea deterrent. Or from my previous roles, actually delivering frontline services. Okay, okay, good. So. If you were to advise anybody on following you in your kind of career, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, my sort of career advice would be is to uh, set out a path and then understand how you to achieve it. So know what, you're, what you want to do with your uh, career. So uh, speak to other people, perhaps use a mentoring scheme. Uh, there are several available for the various chartered institutes, uh, the IT being one of them. Uh, the BCS being another, uh, so you can you can get uh, quite early on is is get a mentor and actually uh, deliver you some sort of career advice as you go through. So that would be my main advice: is just talk to people and understand where your future career could go. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of interesting information there. So I mean, you you said you've been doing this job for some fifteen years. Um, I mean, what still gets you out of bed in the morning? I mean. Isn't the job boring? You've done it all this long length of time? That's that's the one thing about this job. It's never the same from day to day. I can get up and I have an absolutely different day every day. So there's, there's always something different going on. Um, there's always different challenges, as I mentioned earlier. So when I get out of bed, I know that that day is going to be completely unique in that way. So my job doesn't get boring or monotonous at any point, And it always keeps me smiling as I keep going. Fantastic. Well, okay. Aaron, thank you so much. You've been an inspiration. Um, and uh, hopefully we get a chance to talk to you again sometime in the future. But for, that, for now, I just want to say thank you very, very much indeed. <laughs>